banging, man. It's your boy Nutso. Mr. Get with it and get your face knitted. Reppin' that Q Burrow, nigga. Flushing Queens, man. I'm out here with my motherfucking family. You already know what it is when you hear that. Ooh, hey. Yeah, nigga. Screwball Radio with Black Poet and King Eric. Comment, what up? This is what we do, man. Nutso. Queens. Was brangin', nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy Life Lady Long. Live from the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. So keeping the vibes right. You know what I'm saying? We got Screwball Radio with your man King Eric, Black Poet. Shout out my man Comet. You know how we do. You know what I mean? Screwball Radio. Get in tune, baby. We out here. Let's go. Screwball. Screwball. Yeah, what up, man? It's your boy Common, man, man, Screwball Capo, and I'm here on Screwball Radio with my brother, Black Poet, and King Eric. You know what it is? Escape the drippiest of Screwball. I'm here with the wildest and the grimy, King Eric and Black Poet at Screwball Radio. Oh, yeah. Shout out my big bros for life. Ty Nitty, Kyron, Common, Bronche. Rest easy, KL Hostel. Who is What's hood good with y'all? This your big homie, prodigy hood from the South Central Cartel. I'm tapping in with the homies, Black Poet and Eric Mossberg at Screwball Radio. Bang that. What's up? This is Prince Powell Rule, a.k.a. Marcano from The Leftovers. And you're listening to Screwball Radio with my man Black Poet and King Eric. Who huh? Yeah. What it is, what it is, y'all. This should play a part of the legendary cocaine. And look, I want to give big ups to my East Coast family. Shout out to Screwball Radio, you dig? Man, big ups to Common, Black, Poet, and my nephew, Eric Mossberg. That's what it is. Screwball Radio, Buddy Boy, the legendary cocaine. We on that monkey with funky campaign, you heard? Man, keep it wiggling. Screwball. Yeah, 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 man. Screwball Radio, live and direct. Got my man Common in the building. We working with technical difficulties, but we pulling in for hip-hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We in the building. What's the word? Yeah, the word, man. Screwball Radio. Yeah, the word is, Hip Hop 50 was a beautiful moment yesterday. A lot of big acts, a lot of legendary acts, a lot of surprises. It was a proud moment for your culture. And as a matter of fact, it was in your backyard, bro. Nah, it was in my yard. <laughs> <laughs> it, was in, it, was in, it was in the BX. I mean, you know, they celebrate in the Hip Hop 50 all over it all over the states right now, you know. I mean, yeah, one of the biggest ones was last night at Yankee Stadium, you know, you know, where hip-hop started. Might not be where it started, but where it got the most notoriety. You know, shout out to Cool Herc, Coke Rock, one of the first original MCs to grace us, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, all in all, it was a beautiful, a beautiful night. You know, I, I caught some, some parts of it. I wasn't able to make it. But I caught some parts of it. it was, you know, it was monumental. You know what I'm saying? Shout out all the legends that came out, did they thing. Nas, bringing out Cool G Rap, bringing out Lauryn Hill. You know, Fat Joe. Tapoos, KRS, you know, it goes on and on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, so many memorable moments. Dougie Fresh, big shout out to Dougie Fresh and Slick Rick. Yeah, all different types of elements yeah, out there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, tonight, we got, we got an MC that's going to be on here. I mean, you know, he's a... Uh, Straight out of Crown Heights. Probably, to me, one of, you know, all in all, makes dope records. 
can't wait till we bring him on. He might he might be in the queue for all I know. Uh, he's not he's not there yet, but you know, I'll definitely plug him in when I see him. Definitely, definitely will plug him in. But yeah, man, it was overall it was a dope night for the culture, man, and celebrating hip hop fifty in the best way, bringing out all the legends, bringing out all the people, and it just goes to show how the superstars that we had were so they stood out. Versus the day, with all with all due respect to some of the people today, but that era just had well, mad. That era just I'm magical. The, I'm gonna tell you the reason for it. The reason for it is that everybody was their own individual. Nobody was trying to sound like nobody. Everybody was coming as themselves. They wasn't trying to portray being like this person like not 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 to get the drill scene you know but to me it all sounds the same right it all sounds the same to me back then you had individuality everybody was their own person slick rick was slick rick dougie fresh was dougie fresh krs was krs you know what i'm saying mc shan was mc shan you know Nas was Nas. Poet was poet. Nobody was trying to sound like nobody. You know what I'm saying? Nice and smooth had their own lane. EPMD had their own lane. You know what I'm saying? Boot camp had their own lane. Mob Deep was their own lane. Mob, you know what I'm saying? Like, like no one was trying to sound like each other, like it is now. Like, you know, you turn on the radio now, and it's like, damn, that beat sound just like the last beat. I just the beat, played. the beat, literally overlapped. For a whole four or five hours, that same beat, <laughs> the same drum kick, all that. Yeah, for sure. Well, we got a six four six caller on. I think this is him. Six four six, you on? Yes. Yeah, yeah, this is me. What's good, bro? What's good, skanks? Fish, fish, y'all hear me? What's good, man? Yeah, yeah, okay, we got you. So I'm in the building, baby. What's good? So, What's good, you baby? know, for all, for all the listeners out there, you know what I'm saying? I want to give my man a proper introduction. This is motherfucking Bangkok fam. Number five, my brother, the rap martyr, Skanks. Yes, sir. If y'all don't know about, if y'all don't know about Bangkok fam, y'all been under a rock. You know, because for the last 10 years, they've been making their wave. It might be a little longer than that. But I met this brother 10 years ago with my other brother, Rusty Jooks. And they've been making a, st- a stamp in the game this whole time. Straight out of Crown Heights, my man Skanks the Rap Martyr. Welcome to the show, my brother. What's good, bro? Hey, y'all. Salute, y'all. Epis- Thanks for having me, y'all. Yo. Yeah, you're part of episode 142, man. Welcome, welcome to Screwball Radio, being a part of the realest hip hop show on the web. I'm honored to be a Word. part of this show. Word. Yeah, so I I saw Skanks at one of my shows a couple weeks ago. My first show performing in in a couple years. You know, I was up there, had a little brain fart and all that. Right up. You know, I did my thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you did your thing. I'm always happy to see this brother because he was there for the beginning for me as well. You know what I'm saying? He's running around Thanks. on the old Rusty Jook show. I always saw Skanks there. You know, Skanks was either his hype man or, or ready to tear the stage up right after him. You know what I'm saying? Word. And uh, I had to bring him on because he represents what Screwball Radio is. The real shit. Not, not fabricated, no gimmicks, just pure lyricism. And Skanks is himself. He ain't trying to be like nobody. Like we were just speaking on, you know, how, how, how our pioneers are still relevant because ain't nobody trying to sound like each other. Just like just like Bangkok fans. Like each each member has their own gem. 
Like you can never say Without a doubt. sound like Shati when you never gonna hear that. Or one click bang. Like you never gonna hear nobody sound the same. You, 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 exactly. you're just authentic all the way through from one to ten. But you know, enough of enough with me speaking, my brother. It's all about you tonight, man. Salute yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for your contributions to, to the 50 years of hip-hop for the last 10 years. Word, uh, bro. Thank you for having me on here, bro. Word. Uh, thank you for appreciating all my contributions, brother. Word. Uh. For real, man. You know, you've been putting in some pain. You've been putting in pain, and, uh, you know, bro, over it, here... Football radio, we like to give people their flowers. And For real. And everything you put out is hardcore. All your shit is hardcore. You know what I'm saying? Without a doubt. Mom, that's the only way to roll. Word. You know? Yeah. My man's catalog is crazy. It's, yo, he, his catalog is crazy. Have yeah. you ever heard of Vankai? Have you ever heard of Skanks the Rap Martyr? I haven't heard of him until you put me on when I was observing the show, and I said, "Look, man, for a duck down to pick him up, you know, do or give him the give him the coast." I said, "Man, this brother gotta be nice, man. Like, duck down don't pick out no slouches. They don't pick up no scrubs." So I like the I like the the hardcore yeah, element I mean, that he brought. Yeah, you know, duck down is there, but it's all about Bangkok. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that that whole. That whole, that whole element is is none to be fucked with. I'm gonna just say that out. I'm gonna just say that. So in '93, we got Wu Tang. Ten years ago, we got Bangkok. Mm. That's how I look at them. That's how I look at y'all. Thanks. I look at I look at Bangkok as a new a new Wu Tang. From, from the different styles and flows, that's characters. That. That's, a, that's an honor, you know. That's an honor. For sure, for sure. It's an honor. It's a. It's definitely an honor. You know. I, I remember when I was running around with Rusty, and he's like, "Oh, we putting together this thing." And then a few months later, I started here in Bangkok. And y'all was run, you know, y'all was working on that shout Kachi. out. Go ahead, my bad. I gotta shout out to bro Rusty and Kyo Itachi, you know, because those two brothers is the brothers that I started Bangkok with, you know what I'm saying? That's the, the three headed monster right there that created Bangkok. Yeah, for sure. Because mm. I remember, uh, you know, when Rusty, Rusty was building it, Rusty was telling me, yo, I want you to be a part of this, you know? And at the same time, you know, that's when I, me and Poets start running around and I got the school ball stamp, stamp of approval to the monster. You know what I'm saying? So I was kind of like, you know, that's who I was running around with. I was, I was with Jux. I was with Poets. I was going to all Jux's shows, every show. You know what I'm saying? I was there. Right. And he, and he was the putting time. together. I've seen you. You know, he was doing, him and Keo was doing this hard body hip hop. And he's like, yo, we about to start this, this red flag shit, mm. Bangkok, you know? And I was like, I'm with it. And at the same time, I'm over here. So, like, like these are the two families that I was with. You know what I'm saying? That's why I salute y'all uh, so much every time I see y'all. Every single one of y'all. You know? Especially Shot Tee. Same here, family. You already know. I used to see Shot Tee everywhere. Even, even yeah, Shot Tee. Shot Tee always outside. Yeah, always. Yeah, all the time. Shout, Shout out to Shot Tee, man. If you're listening, man, much love to you, brother. For real. For the melody. But, you know, let's, I, let the people know a little bit about yourselves. You know, I got a couple questions for you. Right, me too. Uh, my, yeah, you know, my first, my first question is going to be, where, where did you get the name Skanks from? 
the name Skanks, that comes from way back in the 90s. You know, um, my big bro goes to mayor. He used to have a reggae big sound called Bad Boy High Power. And, you know, I used to carry the crates to go into the parties, you know, when they did the reggae parties. And the Skank is like, you know, that's like the reggae two-step. That was like the first the first move I knew how to do in the club. You know what I'm saying? Got your little Guinness, plus the Skank, or you catch a little scrub. That's where the name came from. The homies just started calling me Skanks, you know what I mean? Crazy. So you grew up in the whole reggae dance hall, you know. I don't even want to say dance hall. I don't yeah. think dance hall was was a thing then yet. But the whole reggae circuit. Yeah, because you know hip hop in um in Crown Heights, you know we was like a melting pot with the hip hop and the reggae, all of that. Like you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of West Indian people in Crown Heights. You know what I mean? So it was yeah, always out, mixed up like that in Heights. Shout out Kingston Ave. Word. Saint Saint was it Saint Mark's or Saint Saint Mark's place right there, right? Word. Saint Saint Mark's and Saint John's. Word. Yeah, shout out that whole area, man. I remember going out there and just the vibe over there was real West Indian. You know, all the all the rude boys out there, man, for real. You look at abs, not too and far And you know, that's there. where the, um, the West Indian, exactly. You know, that's where the West Indian parade comes through every year. On uh, Eastern Parkway, coming down Utica, come past Notion, all up, up Eastern Parkway. So, you know, you, you know, you, you was back then, you was, you was bringing in the crates and, and doing all that. What what got you into hip-hop? What, what, what made Skank say, you know what, this is what I'm going to do? Or, or how old was you when you felt like? My same big brother, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, he was a DJ, you know what I'm saying? He was DJing since the 80s, you know what I'm saying? He used to be in the basement, in my basement doing routines with my other cousin, DJ L Boogie and Clark Kent, you know what I'm saying? Like, he used to have been doing this mm-hmm. since back then, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? He produced, you know what I'm saying? Clap Your Hands off Dr. Peck's first album, you know what I'm saying? Him and my um, homie Kev, you know what I'm saying? They did the um, they want effects down there, you know what I'm saying? Working in um, they recorded those right in my basement, you know what I'm saying? So all of that, watching all that, inspired me to want to do my thing, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so you come from the root of it, like you, like deep down, you in the root of it, you know? Cause those, those records was that's straight from the sewers, right? You talking about straight from the sewers album? Yeah, straight from the sewer. Yeah, they was they was recording them joints right in my basement. Wow. Oh boy. Wow. This so you was you was pretty much there in the beginning. Like you, I could say you was there in the root of it. You know what I'm saying? You seeing that yeah, recording yeah. in your basement, being around those elements, yep. some original demos. Mentioning, mentioning Clark Kent. A lot of people Clark Kent in the basement. Yeah. If Clark Kent is the reason for. For Jay Z, Clark Kent is another reason that's for Biggie too. They get you know? up. That's a fact, bro. Yeah, they was going to bring a lot the of, yeah, I love other people. Oh, of course, of course. Like I love this hip hop. You know, I love this hip hop. I study hip hop all my life. You know, since I'm a little kid. You know, and I done told E when I was little. I used to go out to Philly. I used to go out to Philly, and my cousin out there, he was a DJ. That's what inspired me to get into hip hop. He was cutting up the record. I could never be a DJ. I mean I could put a needle to the record, but you know it was all about the B boy in it. Was you a B boy when you was yeah. younger? Like break dancing and all I that? Wanna, you know, real so Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say this again. Once again, my same big brother, man. He was one <laughs> to me, he was one of the illest break dancers when I was a kid. I used to watch Watch him, you know, you know what I'm saying? Cards brought out, you know, the windbreakers, you know, plus the windmills. Plus, I used to always want to be down, but I was too little back then, you know what I'm saying? So they used to always put me to the side, like, nah, 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 you ain't ready, you ain't ready. You know, it wasn't until, you know what I'm saying, they heard me rhyme when they're like, oh, you ready. And what, what year was that? How old was you when, when they it. heard you? When they first heard when me, rhyme. I was like about... I was like about nine or ten. 
and I actually was getting chased out of the same, you know what I'm saying, studio I was talking about, and my little rhyme book fell, and they picked that shit up, and they was like, oh, we got some shit. And that's how it all started. Yo, E, when I tell you the best hip-hop artist grew up in it, Man, that's living proof right there. It's gangsta rap martyr. Big fact. Word. Just just by just by just by hearing the history alone, you could tell that it rubs off into the music. You being from the B, being from that environment, from that cloth. Yeah, it's, it's love. And not for nothing, you know, DJ Scratch duration. DJ Scratch come from Albany Projects. Right? That's a fact. And that's just Without around the corner. Him and half a mil from the same building. Rest in peace, half a mil. He rest in peace. Word, rest in peace to the bro half. So, so you pretty much, and how how long you know Jux for? Because you know your chemistry is like, just like little brothers. We knew each other since we was kids, you know, through the hood. Like all of us knew each other since we was kids through the hood. Jux, Dan Kai fam, you know what I'm saying? But you know, growing up, you know. I was doing my thing rapping as a kid. Jook was doing his thing rapping as a kid, you know what I'm saying? So we linked up when we got a little older, you know what I'm saying? Right. On the music tip. But, like, I used to run around under the handle Problem Child when I was doing little and shit, you know what I mean? Wow. So that was your, that was, so before Skinks, it was the Problem Child. Yeah. That's when um, MC Light, Lin Q, and Makiba Mooncycle was my managers. Hold up a second. MC Light was your manager? That's a shot. Do the more management. A I was lot, opening a up lot of history here. Up when I was problem child in the 90s. Word. You, you just blew my mind right now. Getting a lot I of history on this show, y'all. I didn't even know that. Oh. MC That's Light. Crazy, bro. Uh, the, illest, yeah. the illest female artist of New York for a long time. Uh, you right there. That's a fact. Again, mentored, again, mentored by her. That's official. That's official. Yeah. But we don't... I definitely don't want to lie under that umbrella. That's 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 what's up. That's man. history. That's, that's rich history. Up. I had no clue. I ain't, I had no clue. You see, well, but one thing for sure, he, we gotta give the people some of his music. Most definitely, let the people know what we're talking about. Most and, definitely, you know, if you're in the UK, you're in France or wherever you at, and y'all want to call in. The number's what, E? 516-531-9596. Definitely tap in with us. Let's give him some of this rap on y'all. For sure. Cool hands. Spank yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. It ain't playing no fucking music. What up, what up, DJ J. Rowan? The one I'm getting around. This is the Bangkok family. Super yeah. AKA. Y'all ready? Come on, let's go. Oh, I'm a big guy. Gorilla, the rest of the game. We ain't gonna chase the fame, but we ain't gonna chase the game. You bet it low. Put it in Bangkok. Head, neck, and chest. We ain't gonna bet it high. Crown ice, this is nuts. We ain't gonna bitch it done. Half a mil took it there. We ain't gonna take it there. But we did it just for us crooks to make it here. The best open stores where they get blown off. Hey, we got a How about trenches? Click, click, fencing. See the fences, the fences. We make it our entrance. And did you hurt where the oath be at? Friendless in my head, man. This is a lift. I'm a man, child. I really wasn't counting. Buses like punk, man. Step by your thousand cuts. Make sure your mouth is shut.
Niggas still stuck in the hood on vacation. That essential weight on a permanent vacation. 
until I retire from the game. Cause a name without fame is like fire without the flame. So it can make me a legend when I'm standing. If you respect whatever sad, leave it instead of in your head and tell your friends to flow so sick it ain't no answer though. The professional, prominent beat by astronaut. What up? I can feel it in the atmosphere. Everybody put your hands in the air and scream. You can be clubbing if it's spot or blinking on the block. If it's not, don't talk, but if it's hot, let go. We got shot. Yeah, we back at it. Yeah, yeah. Football radio. I know we're dealing with some technical difficulties, but we still still here to give you a raw show with my brother, Gangsta Rap Martyr, you know, live and direct from the Matrix. But yeah, man, my, my brother, brother been we back at it. been going hard. Um to, you know, in the last ten years, you put out ten albums, twelve albums. Yeah, I think I think about that. I, I lost count, but it's about that. It's definitely around there, and a whole lot more to come. There's a lot in the chamber about this. Whew. Yeah, I know you got. You know, of course, y'all got the the joint album on my side, the Bangkok album, right? Oh yes. That's that's, 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 that's a, a beautiful joint. Yeah, that album got the, the whole album is bangers. For those that yeah, yeah, like yeah. I said, if you want, if you don't know about bang cop fans, y'all under a rock. You know what I'm saying? Well, and we actually doing brothers, the um, ten year anniversary. We actually doing the ten year anniversary show on my side on um the 25th. You know what I'm saying? At at um the King's Land in Greenpoint, Rusty Jugs, Dirt Platoon. Dan Fam, UG, from the Cellar Dwellers, going down, 10-year anniversary. Special surprises. Yeah, hopefully I could, I could pop out to that. That's definitely going to be historical. Like I said, y'all came, y'all, 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 put it, y'all put y'all stamp down, especially here in New York underground. You know, especially when y'all come, I ain't going to front. When y'all roll through, y'all deep as fuck. <laughs> 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 that's why you probably say. That's why I probably you say. Remind you of Wu Tang because they they go deep everywhere. Yo, listen to me, yo E. I was at I was at Highline Ballroom. I went out to go see Jokes. Upstairs was all Bangkok upstairs. They took over the whole world. They took over everything. Like, listen to me. It's some funny shit too, because you know they had a spread. They had all this food on the side for a certain artist that, that was going to be part of the bill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and all that was devoured. The water bottle. All that shit was devoured. So when the artist that was supposed to, that that was for came, there was nothing. 
There Damn. was like maybe like four waters under the plastic under the table. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was it was it was ju- it was a juke show. It was a uh, Ari the Rugged Man, Rusty Jukes, uh, Timbo King, uh, Bangkok was in the building. Uh, Havoc of Wild wow. Beef was on the bill. That was the same wow. night my, my my van got towed outside. <laughs> oh. oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'll never forget that night. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know you how know, that goes. It was nothing but piss in the air. This is when there was piss. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it was just good energy up there, man. Shout out P General. Shout out One Click Bang. Word. You know, uh, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful night, man. It was beautiful for hip hop. You know, and here we are, ten years later. You know, celebrating 50th year, and y'all y'all doing a 10 year anniversary of of that dope project. You know, and I just want to say, I I've, I've been listening to your catalog, even like just to to get my to be sharp for this interview. And uh, I have to say, man, like you definitely stand alone. You know what I mean? I definitely like that the, mean a lot to me, brother. The Shinigami album is is dope. The the Thank you, the brother. Valentine joint is dope. Like yeah, yeah rest in peace to my bro Valentine. Y'all, y'all need to go and run all his shit up. Whether y'all stream, matter of fact, fuck the nah, streaming. Nah, nah, I, I say fuck streaming. Pull up to the shows. Every what's up? Well, yeah, I, I say pull up to the shows most importantly. That's where the artists get most of they, most of they, most of they, um, most of they bread. Word. You're gonna, you're gonna get, you're gonna get all that merch. If you come to the show. You're gonna get everything for you're sure. looking for. One stop shop, but yo, and a good show. When I, when I tell you, e, when they come through, you got, you got people with ninja masks and machetes. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, that's how we run. Yo, <laughs> when they when they come through, they coming through. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> like when they coming through, they coming through. When they on stage, they all on stage. Shout out Top Notch. Top Notch, he he's uh, official. He 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 like the a of the crew. <laughs> yeah, he the boozy bond uh, of the you know what I'm saying? And uh they just have a great a great chemistry, all of them, but but we talking about the rap martyr. Where did the name the rap martyr come from, or was that always with you? Yeah, the um the rap martyr actually comes from just me through the years. A friend gave it to me for me sacrificing so much for others in this rap thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I ain't even trying to Throw my horn to blast, but you know I, I'm a I'm a type of brother. I'm gonna help others along the way too. I'm not. It's not just about myself. You know what I'm saying? It's about it's a bigger cause. It's about the culture. Right. Well, yeah, that's that's always been y'all. You know, y'all y'all all all for one. You know what I'm saying? Y'all push uh, each other. Whether whether it's your album dropping or one click bang dropping or P General dropping, you know, y'all all get behind each other and and push. I mean, that's what it, that's what right. the family do. You know, that's what family do. You know what I mean? Just like yeah, right bro. now, I'm riding with the newest member of the family right now, my bro Shaggy. You know what I'm saying? Look out for him, man. He's dangerous, man. See, that's the dope. When I say dangerous, he's dangerous on multi levels. He's a triple threat. See, so he's the- a new a new chamber to the Bangkok fans. Yep, he's a new chamber to the family. And he's coming. You're going to see him. You're going to be seeing him at all the shows and all that. Killing shit. And he's not even just nasty with rapping. He's nasty with singing, too, on another level. Oh, he coming out with the R&B on him, too. He, he coming out all kinds of angles on him. Literally. That's crazy. Singing he ill. On the next level. Yeah. So, yeah, so you got the Bangkok. Took the, took the chamber to the next level with the um, reggae. It's another chamber. Another level. 
see. I got the 10 year anniversary coming up. Yes, sir. Got a new member. Your latest album. You got a new album out. Well, your latest album is Rest in Peace to the Beats, right? Yes. Rest in peace to all them beats that I bodied on that. So where's, where's the next step for Skanks? Oh, wait, hold up. Because you know y'all, y'all, be, doing the, y'all be doing the TV thing, too. Y'all, y'all filming? Yeah, y'all, yeah. Y'all, <clears throat> tell us, we got tell the web series. It. We got the web series. I'm directing. You know, they call me Marta Scorsese. You know, we got the web series out called The Kings of the Crown that I'm directing. You can catch the whole crew is in it, Rusty, all kind of guests and guests. You know, I got to get you on the episode. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, season two is in the works. Season one is out now. That's on the Bandcamp Fan YouTube channel. Season two is in the works. Plus, you know, we got the radio show, The Bank Hour. I'm actually um, yeah. going there right now. You know what I'm saying? We about to do the show right now. You know what I'm saying? We got Liggy Long coming through tonight. Oh, shout out to Brother Liggy. Respect to God. Wow. Oh, respect, peace He's to actually God. a co-host. Yeah. He's actually a co-host of the um, 10-year anniversary. Him and Jay Ronan. Yeah, so the Bankai Hour, I was actually on that one time. And I think I was on there with Lava. You know, peace peace to the brother Lava. But my man, yeah, Bank, my, man Skanks, Lava. my man Skanks is has his hand in everything. He's a creator. He's a visionary. And more importantly, he's a swordsman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With, with that pen, he's vicious. Mm. Vicious with the pen. His his stage presence is phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? When he when he grabbed a mic, he's com- he's commanding the time that he's got that mic. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, one thing about them is they all have that element. Yeah, Even I'm... for the Sean Price uh the Sean Price uh memorial I was at I think it was last yeah. yeah, I think it was last year sometime. It was like in a and, and the upstairs, it was the last time I seen Doc Ock, you know, rest in peace, Doc Ock. Um, oh, I know you, you was, was doing your thing. About. Yeah, you was doing your thing up there with Jooks, you know. And, uh, uh, you know, like I like I say, man, I, I'm glad that I know you, you know. I'll be watching Same all here, the brothers. moves, you know. I'm always, you know, I'm always going to support. We always going to play your music here. You know, here on Straight Street Ball Radio, because... Straight fire, thing. man. We only keep it raw. We don't want no fucking bubble gum rap bullshit up, up, up. <laughs> uh, we not with, we not with that shit at all. Uh, nah, I'll eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but we ain't playing yeah, that, that bullshit <laughs> up here, man. Fuck, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. You ain't hearing Drake on this shit. <laughs> you ain't hearing none of that bullshit. You ain't hear none of that shit here. You know what I'm saying? This is strictly for the streets. This is strictly for the underground. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It is like... Hardcore. You know, we Street Ball Radio. Hardcore for the underground, for strictly. the streets. It ain't for the clubs. Unless, you, unless, you're going back to the, unless you're going back to the, the tunnel. way to be. Yeah, we don't discriminate <laughs> up here. We give everybody a chance. If your shit is gutter and it come across the radar, we're going to play you. And you know, Skank, you, you've been putting out gutter music since I know you, you know? Thank you, and my that's, brother. That's a good, that's a good 10 years that I know you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fact. That's a fact. So, I know E, we got some more of his music. Let's give the people some more of his music. For sure. And we come back and... For sure. And I want to salute everybody for sticking yeah, with us. Poet, you know, Black Poet out doing something. He wasn't able to make it on the show. Who had to my brother. But yeah, let's, let's get on some of that skanks. The rap martyr. Because it's, it's the skanks hour on Screwball Radio. For sure. Let's go. <laughs> I'm the worst. Can't wait to stick it for Remy. Man, I can't even wait until 
my bitch get off of her. Yeah, I know I'm a jerk, but still, but she don't know who I'm hurt. So I turn up a dirty door, but there's so much dirt. I can't believe that's the old man that she still want to be back. Cause that's the whole dirt that I did. It's hard to clean up my act. One day she might say I'm full of it. And we should split and go out separate. Tired and I'm putting up with my bullshit. But now that's it, this time it ain't the same. I promise I'm a chance. I'm tired of the lies I'm arguing. Drama and mind games. I put myself in your shoes. I swear it hurts, but I don't want to lose you. Since I throw you through and in the club with the mother dude. Do I know you did that just to get some revenge? She wasn't my friend. But in the end, we fell in love again. Well, it all depends on if you feel the same as me. You might be in your feelings, feelings, just trying to play games with me. You be throwing big signals. So it ain't that plain to see you. You might think I'm still a dirty dog and it ain't no change in me. It's mad deep. Thinking about you, I can't sleep. But you, I won't lie, cheat. I make no promise I can't keep, baby. Complain the victim, act like you the only one to blame. Day to day, nothing's changed. Our relationship was strained. Seen all the red flags. Still, I chose to let him go. All along, I should have known. Can't make a husband out of hope. I can play the victim too, like you the only one to blame. Every day's the same. You holding grudges and no more to change. It's been months since I did what I did with what's the name. We went from engagement ring to red and ring to pain and suffering. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't you think that's nigga? My ass getting sadder, but my titty got nigga. Since you've been growing, I'm pouring. Had a chick mad with her. Right or wrong, life goes on. Plus my dick back gun. I'm pouring it. This looky looky no more. This looky my ass. Me to the limit now, sing me with the goodies, made a dash for the next man, sitting on him like a bed kid, even though it ain't his own, he got a face, and I'm collecting, broken hearts, so over all the healing, hope he goes to charge, time to have it, hope he draws, fuck you niggas, no remorse, pray my name, just like fucking kissing his mouth, broke his phone, told you change, do your shit out the house, hey, I'm on your best friend, fucking up your credit, try to treat me like I'm left, and the grudges now was better, even if I took you back, things will never be the same, and it's fucking on that stress rate, cause it's heavy, on the brain. I can play the victim, act like you the only one to blame. Day to day, nothing's changed. Our relationship was strained. See no in the red flag. Till I chose to let him go. All along, I should've known. Can't make a husband out of hope. I can play the victim too, like you the only one to blame. Every day's the same. You holding grudges and no more to change. It's been months since I did what I did with what's her name. We went from engagement ring to red and ring to pay the top of ring. Nah, he disrespect me, nigga. Or like- 
like an old TV, you gon' get smacked around a bit until you get the picture. If that offends you, it's dismissed. So I eat that nigga to step to call the ice. Your uncle, cousins, and nephews to come to your rescue. God bless you. We ain't your same, cause you ain't never feel pain till I have you crying and screaming. Oh, hell nah. Like G Wayne telling you, get on my nerves. You shouldn't have said a word that ain't what your man for these seconds. Niggas locked up in 70 stars. Huh. Go get your Glock, cause you ain't never blocked. You never drop that knife and bump each knuckles up with Freddy Fox. He's the type to get hype when he writes rap. Like he gon' fuck me up, so he never had a fight in his life. Nigga, be capping shit, be rapping about what really be happening. If you want to see how he be really living, you really be laughing. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Breaking all the beats like Glass Joe. Okay, Venom, we. Over here. Yeah, we anti we anti streaming over here. We support the artists. Yeah, yeah, we we anti streaming, man. I, I'm trying to start an anti streaming campaign. You know what I'm saying? Cause they 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 robbing us. They robbing the artists right now. You got you know. You know, it's got, it's got the artist supports yeah, the artist, man. Yeah, it's got its points. You know, the one thing I respect about it is that, you know, people that don't know you, you know, they could come up across your music quicker. You know what I'm saying? Right. If if it's if it sounds like or it's in this category, you know, they'll find it. But to me, you know, hip hop is hip hop. Go check your artists out. Buy a shirt, buy a hat. You know what I'm saying? Well, support, support your artists, man. Go buy the album, create a catalog in your home, buy the vinyl, buy the CDs, whatever they dropping, go buy that. So, go to 
Bandcamp. He's got 12 albums up on there. Buy all of them. So y'all can get into the mind of skanks. You know what I'm saying? World is born. Definitely, man. Well, I appreciate y'all brothers, man. Word up. Thank you, my brother. Definitely, man. We pull. We pull. Like yeah, we, without a doubt, man. Without a doubt. Like I told you, we're here to give you your flowers. They well deserved. You've been putting in pain. And it's time to shine, my brother. It's time for you to shine. Good luck on everything you do. Keep. I know I've seen you go overseas and, and did a little tour. Just, that was great, man. I wish I could have been there for that. It's going to be more, though. You know, we try, we, we, well, we're we not trying. we wrapping up the Bangkok tour, 10-year anniversary tour in October on the exact date of the 10-year anniversary with um, Rusty Jook and Keo in Paris. Crazy. Crazy. We're keeping the movements alive, man. So y'all heard it. So my overseas, my overseas people out there, they coming out there. We're end of October. Back. Yeah, let and let people know where they can find show. you at. Yeah, let yeah. people know where they can find you at on the social media handles. Yeah, you know what I'm saying on on Instagram is Flow Professional. You know what I'm saying on everything else is Catch the Rap Martyr. And on Twitter, it's just the rap martyr. You know what I'm saying? Follow your boy. You type in Skank the Rap Martyr on any one of the platforms, though, you'll find me. And on that note, we're about to give them some more, some more Skanks the Rap Martyr. Thank you for being on, my brother. We're definitely going to build more. Do your thing. Keep shining. From School Ball Radio to the Bangkok family. And number love. Most deaf. Yes, so we're we'll going to leave y'all with but two bangers. Let's keep going with y'all. We all hip hop citizens and we, do, we all doing our part for the community, baby. No doubt. For sure, for sure. Keep keep well, putting it down, man. Keep keep on putting it down. Yeah. And keep and keep wearing all them damn hats you be wearing. Director, radio personality. Just keep shining, brother. Right, peace and love man peace and love okay. on that note e, let's, let's tune in next week same school time same let's school channel. channel let's get drop it drop some more heat on them alright skanks the rap harder you gon' get me the dump in this life, nigga. You nothing like I am. I laugh you running so fast. You bust about your shoes like fire. The streets ain't no game. You get caught lacking any time of day for them. Uh huh. Uh huh. Word up, man. Yeah. I hope people remember me when I'm. Uh huh. It's hard coming from the bottom, trying to survive all the way up. So every day I wake up, I pray, man, I don't break up. Cause if I don't look good, then my crew don't look good. And if we don't look good, then Kiyo won't look good. And if we all don't look good, then New York won't look good. But since I sound so universal, the world won't look good. I love South Rap. Shout out Fight Dog, he inspired that. One of the reasons why I rap, I'm trying to bring that fire back. Matter of fact, it never left. It's just been real hard for real rappers to get some respect. They grab any chicken soup while they chain hanging low. Walking out these stinky legs, the modern day mystery show. Brothers dancing in their videos with happy faces. Remind me of back in the days when whites wore black faces. I know it's hard, but we have to face this rapper's faces. I come my most famous faces, always catching cases when I'm. I pray my legacy is born. Don't let nobody rob me of my history. Some world is wrong because I seem to make history. Making these songs. I'm a martyr. I don't plan to live long. So sing along when I'm on. Cause the way I write so strong, they be asking me what type of shit I'm on. Son, I'm crazy, my mind. And hey, can we all just get along? My people, this time we unite and be strong because they want us all. Like they said, I could be killed. Then die from cancer like Bushwick Bill. They say I'm a guy that music still got us rocking. The marathon continues. That's motivation not to stop until I'm fucking in position. So he never puts me on. I could be wrong, but if I'm right, I might as well just keep it moving and be I'm wasting my time. I done made up my mind. I'm a crime. I'm sitting on the body shelf, waiting and crying. Nigga, I'm me and my girl been together for so long. And one day I wasn't feeling her no more. Just packed my shit up and was so so you so the even though you know it was wrong. Cause I had the like going once, going twice, going, going. I swear. I'ma put my heart in every song Cause every one is dedicated to my family Myself or dead I swear I'ma put my heart in every song Cause every one is dedicated